to it. The first thing we're going to do is watch a video. And that's kind of a conversation starter video. And in that video, we are going to look at three approaches. And as you are watching the video, I would ask that you try to identify which one is going to be your favorite approach, because that's what we're going to use to start the conversation. Success is what counts. A community conversation to help all community college students achieve. Approach one, make sure students are ready to do college level work. Approach two, help students deal with the pressures in their lives. Approach three, ensure a rigorous and engaging academic experience. So you heard three different approaches to how we can help community colleges students succeed. So the first thing we're gonna do is try to figure out where we are as a group within those three approaches. Which one did you pick? I picked the one. Why did you pick one, Esteban? Because I feel that we do need to be prepared, um, better prepared for college. I'm for all of them, but I think if we kind of focus on number three, from my point of view, you know, that we can incorporate number one and number two and number three, and we can have, like, great education for all students. We had some very unique perspectives that a lot of us were not prepared to hear. But when we heard them, I really think it changed the dynamic of the group and, and it changed where we went with our discussion. I like all one, two, and three. I think preparation is very, very important. But what is also important is to try to tie success in education to success in life. And that's one thing we do not do very well. When people feel that they've got a voice and, and that they have the power to, to make change, then they are willing to do it. And so I think that what they were saying is, we will do this work for you if you value what we give you. There is a very huge gap in the difference of the, the level of work you're expected to do at in the high school to when you get to the university level. I think colleges and universities should be the loudest voices to talking about reform at the public school level because the public schools are not providing them the students that they need. The conversation was better than, than, than I expected. It was more uh, people friendly than, than I really thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought there was a potential for maybe uh, uh, argumentative debates, that type of thing, um, but, but it wasn't. It was a free-flowing conversation between uh, people who really uh, cared about the community. I'd be very interested to see what would happen if we set up almost a separate kind of school for that remediation, for the levels of people that aren't ready to take the 100-level classes. I really think that um, uh, if the community college wants them to be successful, you have to be responsive to that. I think that you can challenge them even at the most remedial levels and really get them to aspire for high levels of things, but you got to give them the toolkit to be able to do it. I personally am against tagging students with your developmental student or your special ed kid and you should be identified as such. I think part of the community college is the community feeling of the uh, of the education. I found it very interesting that there were so many different cultures, um, the diversity, and yet we all came up with the same ideas, the same problems that we wanted resolved. You know, we just need to look at the whole range of pressures that, that students are under, and that can be for academic developmental reasons, it can be for any variety of reasons that makes it difficult for them to show up prepared on any given day. And, and let's try to be specific, like for example, uh, create mentoring programs. Let's try to use action verbs and just start listing what we think we can do as a community and as a college to help our students. So, okay, Marina. I, I think we should have more staff also okay. to, more staff. according to the population of the students that we have. Uh, we don't have enough Hispanics. I think student focus groups so that they can tell us, you know, within the college what some of their needs are. This, this was very helpful today. I think there needs to be, I don't like the word outreach necessarily, but there needs to be something occurring in those communities that lets people understand what the asset is here. I've been in community college education over 25 years. We've always measured our success by enrollment. That's not what this is about. This is about what we do with them after their enrollment, how we help them. Let's talk a little bit now about having had this conversation, 
What do you feel like you are maybe called to do next? Do you feel or, that you want to be involved somehow in this project? We came up with three ideas that we felt were of high priority. The first one we mentioned was a mentoring program. We could have high school students mentoring elementary school students, college students mentoring high school students, community leaders mentoring college students. Our questions and concerns, do high school teachers make college sound hard? We did have two uh, college students in our group, so they gave great input. While certainly there were comments shared that are critical comments, they were shared because of the public agenda choice work framework we were given in a really positive way. So I was really pleased with that. It did not degenerate into some sort of a gripe session or negative event at all. People were excited about actually getting involved in these things in terms of mentoring, in terms of alums wanting to write letters, getting students involved civically, taking part in community boards. And Having a conversation like this totally takes you outside the box. It gets you in a, it gets you in a situation where you're able to hear uh, other people's ideas about what's going on, and also you're able to share your ideas. So I think that this was magnificent. This is very important to me, being a current student. These are issues that we're faced with daily. And to actually be a part of this and actually be in the process of maybe changing it is a, a, a wonderful opportunity. I'd like to take one second to thank our moderators and recorders, if you will. That is amazing how many people said the same thing. People really care. Uh, they want uh, contact with us. They want this information to go out. They want us to help our students succeed. And I'm very encouraged by that, but I want to thank the people for coming because the people are what matter and they really came through for us tonight. Thank you. So I want to thank everyone again for being here today. This is the beginning of what will be a series of engagements and conversations. Please keep in touch and we will certainly keep in touch with you. Thank you so much.